Is there a link between solar power and ending hunger in Santa Barbara County? News Channel reporter Mina Wahab spoke to one nonprofit about how this is possible. Solar power doesn't just save money, it saves lives. That's the message from Craig Lewis, who's on a mission to change the way people think about renewable energy, one solar microgrid at a time. Local solar provides an unparalleled level of energy resilience and energy resilience will keep people alive. His goal is to have solar microgrids installed all over Santa Barbara County, from schools and hospitals to fire stations and food banks. He says solar technology at the Santa Barbara County Food Bank is critical, especially since perishable items rely on power to keep food at the proper temperature. The ability to keep refrigerators and freezers operational is dependent on energy resilience. When the grid goes down, if you don't have energy resilience, those freezers and refrigerators turn off and they can only be off for a certain amount of time before the temperature of that food adjusts outside of the allowed um, calibration and that means that that food's going to have to be uh, disposed of. Right now, the food bank has a solar microgrid at its Santa Maria location. The organization is still in the process of getting a solar microgrid for its Santa Barbara facility. That solar microgrid will carry those freezers and refrigerators in you know, over any grid outage, no matter how long it might last. Lewis isn't the only person excited about this technology. The food bank's disaster services specialist, Anthony Rodriguez, says this will have a huge impact on the community. When there's no food, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of uh, of hurt. There's a lot of pain, and that's not what we want. We want to be able to serve our community in the most healthiest way, and with those little panels, that's that's giving us an opportunity to save lives. Preventing food waste by having emergency power in place will help the food bank save money and resources, and focus more on its mission to end hunger in the county. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab. Still ahead on your local News Channel Live at 4.30 today, Brazil got to say their final goodbyes to global icon Pele. We'll show you where the ceremony happened coming up. Plus, extreme weather hits California over the New Year's weekend. More on the impact and the look at the full weather forecast with Krista Kirkjian.